Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Wind River, which is the directorial debut of a man named Taylor Sheridan, a really great writer in 2015 wrote Sicaro, which I believe is getting a sequel in just a few months. And then he also wrote a really great film from last year called Hell or High Water. So those two films got me excited. I really wanted to see this movie today because he wrote this film, Wind River, and he also directed it. I just think he's one of the best writers working today in Hollywood. Now, the film stars Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen, and Graham Greene, among, of course, many, many, many others. And the film is centered in Wyoming, though I believe it was shot... I think it was set in Wyoming, but it was shot in Utah. Very cold, snowy winter weather. And Jeremy Renner plays a man who deals with game. He's a game tracker. He's been doing it for many, many years. He has some issues that is going on in his life with his personal business, with his family, but he's hired to kill the wolves and the mountain lions that are attacking other animals and people out there. And something tragic happens in the area that kind of reminds of something that happened to him in his personal life. Um, and so he meets up with a FBI agent. Seems like she's on her first job ever, and she's played by Elizabeth Olsen. And there's a cop that kind of follows him around, played by Graham Greene. And then the other story involves is find out what happened to this woman. How did she get here in the middle of nowhere? And does it involve something even bigger that involves this little small place called Wind River, which is a Native American reservation? So there you go. That's the players. That's, that's pretty much a little bit what this movie's about. Now that I've seen it, what did I actually feel about this movie? Well, again... The movie looks great. It's a beautiful looking film. It, it, this, the writing is pretty much top notch, even though I don't think it's as strong as his other films that he's worked on. Of course, he's probably battling two other things, taking on two different jobs. At first, he was just the writer, and now he's both the writer and the director of the film. So I think it's got some strong characters and some weak characters, some really interesting situations, and then not so much. But overall, I felt like as the movie wrapped up and it, how it explained itself and some of the stuff that happened that were pretty exciteful and intense and the underlying message of the movie because the movie says it's inspired by actual events so there are actual things that have happened to Native American women uh, I'm not going to hint on in this review because I don't want to spoil it for the, the people that have not seen it yet but I, I enjoyed that imagining that Taylor was inspired for what he heard in the news what's going on uh, with these women that he was inspired to tell this story. Now, I thought Jeremy Renner was great. Really interesting, very complex. We get to learn about his past. We get to learn about the relationship he's had. Uh, and I like, uh, I wish a little more of him tracking. There's a little bit of that just established that he's a tracker, but I almost wish there was just a little more of that, a little more character development on his part. Elizabeth Olsen is a good, solid actress, very beautiful. But I... Now, maybe... Maybe I feel this way because she is playing a character that seems like this might be her first or second job. She's put in this place probably because nobody else wants to do this job right now, so they take her out in the middle of nowhere in the winter. So I get that. So she's supposed to be this woman that doesn't seem like uh, has an idea of what she needs to do but maybe he doesn't have a clear idea of how to actually do it all the time so she, a little she's a little complex but at the same time i don't think i really i don't know i didn't really believe in elizabeth olsen as an actress in this film i i just never bought her performance in the movie and sometimes it came off a little too strong and it kind of got in the way of her relationship or whatever luckily uh well her you know uh her what uh the her community uh, I can't speak right now, but the way her and Jeremy Renner acted together, you know, they, 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 they're they coming from two different worlds, so there's a little bit of back and forth, but I just never really believed in their chemistry. I, I, I never really did. Uh, but I, I really, I did still believe in Jeremy Renner. Though, I have to say my favorite character, you know, I think there's really three strong characters in the movie, and I want to mention Graham Greene. Most people might know him from... Dance with Wolves, but he's, of course he's been acting uh, longer than that, and he's been acting consistently after that. Just one of the greatest actors ever. And I thought his character was the most complex. Even though we don't get to know a lot about him, I just thought he was the most interesting because he did a great job to feel like he's this cop, or maybe he's the sheriff or something, 
uh, that he would rather be home. But he, he didn't come off as annoying. He didn't come off something uh, like I, I didn't like. I didn't want him to be a part of the movie. I, I really did, and I really enjoyed his performance. I just liked how interesting he was. That he was doing his job, but he also felt like, oh, what do I really have to be out here, man? There's just so much. There's probably uh, more interesting things I can do right now. That's what came off to me, uh, and I thought it was a really interesting uh, character. I, I really, I really liked him. I also wish we got to learn more and more about him. Um, but overall, I, I did feel he was slightly complex as well. So, again, the setting's beautiful, the story is interesting enough, and it is somewhat well paced. At times, it's very intense, sometimes it's a little tedious, and then it leads up to an ending that I thought was quite satisfying uh, that had me on the edge of my seats uh, for the majority of what happened. And I liked the way it was kind of told, uh, the, way, the way it all kind of turns out at the end. I don't want to spoil anything, but I did enjoy it how that happened as well. Um, there is an actor uh, also in this film that I don't want to mention. Of course, you can go on the internet and find out who else is in this film, and you can be s not surprised like I was. So I enjoyed that. I found out that there was a really, really great actor that was actually in this film that had a very small part, and um, I was really happy about that. I'm glad I did not know that this person was in the film. Um, so I think uh, as a director, Taylor Sheridan uh, has a future as a director. I think he's going to make much better films than this one. As a writer, he's already proved himself as a writer, and now he's three for three. I'm really looking forward to the Sicario a sequel that's coming out soon. Um, and and whatever this guy does, even stuff that I, I if he if he if he falls a little bit and doesn't make a really great film, I'll be still interested to see what he's going to come up with next. I think he's a, he's a really great writer. And as a director, I'm still kind of iffy about. It. I really don't know if he uh, is uh, a great director as well, but I think as a writer, he's he's really amazing to get excited about, uh, to to see. I like these crime thrillers. I'm a big fan of crime thrillers, especially centered in like in a small little area, small little part of America. I think Hell or High Water is definitely one of the best films uh, that I've seen the last few years, and I really like Sicario. I, I just think this guy's got a great mind for this kind of stuff. Uh, complex characters, an interesting story, and then um, I'll, I'll be interested to see where he goes as a director and see if he can just get much better than this one. I think this was a good film, a good start for him as a filmmaker, and I expect that he's going to just grow up and be more interesting and 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 it's exciting to watch I, I really think he will be as a, as a filmmaker uh, but uh, definitely if you're a fan of Taylor Sheridan and and his work I would say this is definitely worth seeing at least once I don't know if I'll ever see it again but I would say it's a good solid film with some with some strong performances not so much and some strong interesting storylines and then some times where maybe the movie uh, doesn't really hit the mark all the time but overall, I thought this was a good, solid movie and definitely something worth recommending. And for that, I'm going to give Wind River, I will give it a solid three stars out of four.